want to know what the latest is in networking solutions and some pretty cool technology these days for consumers, for small and medium-sized businesses, our next guest is the public relations manager for Netgear, Jay Nichols. Jay, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me, Dave. It's a pleasure. You guys are showing some pretty cool stuff here at CES Unveiled. First of all, Eva getting yes. a lot of attention. Tell us what Eva is. Definitely. Well, Eva 2000 is actually the model number, but this is our digital entertainer live. And basically what this is, it's a device that's primarily uh, focused on internet content and basically streaming that across your home network, as well as the devices like your DNA, uh, DLNA enabled HDTV, for example. So basically you can actually take this, go out and view YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, um, even Cinema Now, for example, and look at all this internet-based content um, across your HDTV instead of just on your laptop. And there's more than just the EVA 2000 available now, right? Somebody said something about a baby EVA, which we got to take a peek at, and it does a whole lot of what the big mama EVA does. Oh, it's even better, because actually you just described the baby EVA, which is actually the EVA 2000. The big daddy uh -huh. actually is uh, something that actually has integrated Wi-Fi into the box itself, as well as a 500 gigabit hard drive, and that actually does full 1080p HD streaming video across everything. And with a half a terabyte of storage in the big device, Indeed. You've got, you can store all kinds of your content. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice. Uh, in fact, storage is actually a big part of what we're showing here. One of the newest models that we have is something called Stora. And this is actually a terabyte worth of storage that we're actually shipping. It's a network detached storage device that connects to the network. And all you can basically store all of your critical data, multimedia files, movies, music, etc., and distribute it throughout the home network. But it also has some really cool home, uh, well, excuse me, remote access capabilities where you can basically take any internet enabled laptop, netbook, or even in this case, you know, for your listeners on the radio, I'm actually showing him an iPhone right now. See, that's why we're doing video this week as well. So exactly. check, out, check out the iPhone. Maxi Andres will get in tight. Indeed. I'm actually streaming the Fast and the Furious across a 3G network from the store that we have over at our kiosk right now. And this is just playing from across the room, but it could literally be across the world That's at that point. It doesn't really matter, right? Exactly. You just log into mystore.com, you get your, uh, your you know, username and password, and you have access to your entire multimedia library, including any critical data from anywhere in the world. And I never got to see the Fast and the Furious 2 or whatever it is that's showing. So yes, we'll have, I, I have know. to log in. Exactly. <laughs> and it's great, too, because, you know, especially for parents that are looking to do stuff, you can mm -hmm. actually set up separate profiles so that the parents want to have their R-rated movies separate from, you know, uh, happy Feet, the G-rating you know, movies, you can actually do and, that. And what a great point that is. I mean, that's something that when you talk about the ability to share content, and we're all gathering such great amount of content, mm -hmm. there are things that you want to keep separate mm -hmm. from the kids or for the kids, depending on that kind of content. Mm -hmm. And it's cool to be able to just say you don't have to worry because that's where they can log in. That's absolutely. what I'm sharing for the family. Absolutely. This is mom and dad stuff. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I think that's really critical. And I think that's what you're going to be seeing a lot in terms of consumer spending you know, during this holiday season is that you know, aside from something like the Droid, for example, which you were showing me last night, you yeah. know, there's nothing really major that's really kind of taking control here. People have their HDTVs, they have their laptops, they have their netbooks. Now they need to be able to share all of these things together, connect them together, share multimedia files, do it securely, uh, but do it very easily, and also be able to make sure that they can differentiate between, say, you know, the kids and the parents and that information they have. And of course, it's easy to access content on the store, whatever it is that you want to access Absolutely. from it's, all these devices you're talking about, whether it's a computer or your iPhone. It is. Network attached storage is not a, you know, a you know, term that many consumers are actually used to hearing. Yeah. So we were very, very careful to design this with ease of use in mind. Anyone is going to be able to look this up very easily. It's a very plug and play device. Now, what other cool Netgear goodies are you showing here at Unveil tonight? I would say the other really interesting thing we've got is something called the WNDR 3700. We refer to this as the ultimate networking machine. It's a wireless end access router. It is delivers 500 megabits per second of internet access. Not that you would probably need whoa, whoa, whoa. fiber optics yeah. connected to your home in order I to take advantage of that. I don't know anybody that has that. Maybe. Definitely no. <laughs> but with Doxus 3 and 4G on the horizon, you're going to need it at some point. Sure. And it's also there to basically also distribute large files within the home as well. Um, you also need to require this because it's dual band, so you can basically set up two separate wireless networks if you wish. One that would be for guests as a pass through to the internet while you have a more secure one for other folks. And then likewise, um, you also have something called a ready share capability where you can plug in a USB device and actually find those multimedia uh, files on that and share them immediately over the wireless network. Oh, very cool. I can see a lot of advantages to those kinds of things. So Indeed. you want to you take advantage of them. Neat stuff. And of course, as always, Netgear coming out with the cool stuff. And 
quite often just in time for the holidays. There's a method to their madness. Do check it out at netgear.com. Of course, we'll have a link for you on our site to Jay's site and all of our guests at CES Unveiled. Thanks for spending a couple of minutes with us. Good stuff, as always, from Netgear. Thanks for having me. We're back with more from CES Unveiled in New York. I'm Dave Graveline. This is Into Tomorrow on the Advanced Media Network.